All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So today we're going to do 48 hours with the Pixel 6a. This is Pixel 6a season, so we're going to kick these videos out to you because you guys have a lot of questions, and I'm happy to bring them to you. So uh, 48 hours with this device, it's been solid. Um, I can't report like anything spectacular happening. I shouted out another gentleman um, uh, in another video uh, about the 5 across in the video for the 5a versus the 6a. Uh, it is actually pretty simple to get to. I just had a brain cramp and I'm so used to my devices having it already by default in some devices and in Samsung I just go in and long press on the screen. But Android 12 obviously you go into um, wallpaper and styles and it's down there and I do appreciate all of you guys reaching out to me. The gentleman had already pointed out to me as soon as that video posted uh, and I pinned the comment. So, uh, But yeah, this is a must for me having five across. Uh, I just prefer it over the four across. I just don't think it looks right uh, for my eyes. Uh, but you can definitely do more. You can do four by five. You can do all these down here. Two by two is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> but um, the I wanted to point this out at the beginning of this video uh, because in the initial unboxing, I told you guys that I did not like four by four and I didn't have a resolution at that time. Uh, but uh, in that though, you know, you still, um, Oh, and also I wanted to address the uh, wallpaper. Uh, you guys have been asking about the wallpaper. Unfortunately, I did a backup from the Samsung uh, S, S22 Ultra, uh, and this is a Samsung default wallpaper. So that's how it got over here to this phone. I, I backed up everything um, because I needed all my messages to come over when I start using this phone and everything. So. Um, that is the wallpaper. So you might be able to find this wallpaper on some on Google somewhere. <laughs> like Google it, and you know maybe you'll be able to find it um, that way. But this wallpaper is a default Samsung wallpaper that I have on that phone, and so that's how uh, it got over here. And I actually think it looks flawless over here. I think this is one of the best wallpapers. I normally don't change my wallpapers very much unless I'm making one for myself that might say Team Pixel or something like that. Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, I wanted to address that. So a lot of you guys have been uh, having questions about the device. Your, your questions are pretty detailed too. Uh, <clears throat> so normally I wouldn't talk about uh, signal strength and things like that uh, or plastic backs too much. Uh, but some of you guys um, uh, definitely had these questions, uh, certain questions, and I just wanted to point a few of them out after 40, 48 hours. So signal, uh, signal is fantastic. Um, it's probably not so much because it has a plastic back, so to speak, because the antenna lines are on the sides of the device. Like you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven antenna lines on this phone. So however you're holding it, you're going to get some signal from there. But I do understand phones that are metal uh, or aluminum or aluminum, depending on where you live, uh, that does restrict the signal on these devices. So uh, case in point, my all of my iPhone 8s and my iPhone 10, all those, those had pretty poor signal. And even my 13 Pro Max, which I'm actually recording with, I decided to kick out 13 Pro Max to do a quick video with it. Um, even this phone, it doesn't have the best signal, uh, but I know it depends on the network. I mean, mine is unlocked and I've tried it on different networks, but even so, it still, it just didn't have the best signal. Uh, and and I, I'm sure it has something to do with the build quality, where the antennas struggle to get past. So having a plastic body, as some of you guys are starting to point out now, uh, you guys are, some, when I say you guys, you know who you are. It's kind of funny how we rotate through this this tech world on what's important and what's not, or what becomes important, or what they, what companies should be doing in 2022. Some things I agree with, but personally, I said this before, I don't need a metal back because I'm not one of those consumers who's big on wireless charging. Uh, I just think wireless charging is it's cool to have, but I would never. I've only bought one wireless charger, I think, in my whole life. Two. I bought two. I bought the Pixel Stand. I think I bought. Yeah, I, bought, I think I bought that. I think Google sent that to me. Yeah, they might have. No, I bought the Pixel Stand. Um, and then I, the OnePlus wireless. And, you know, but wireless charging to me just isn't there yet because it charges so slow. So unless you're going to get a really fast charger like the OnePlus Stand, you're not going to get, to me, the benefits of wireless charging. I just don't see the benefit of it yet. Convenient to throw your phone on your nightstand next to you. Yes, I get it. I think the most efficient 
uh, wireless charger is the Pixel Stand. I'm not just saying that. Uh, I think it is the best option because it converts your phone to something different. It's just not a phone on the charger. You get all these new options. So the plastic back conversation, we really should dead that because it's really not important. This isn't the first phone that has a plastic back. I don't see what the big hype is. Um, but this is a beautiful looking device. It is a gorgeous looking device. The hardware on here has been great. You know, I'm always talking about small phones, powerful phones. Uh, and this is in fact uh, a small, powerful phone, folks. The conversation has been more along the lines of, should you buy this if you have the Pixel 6 or should you? Well, of course not. I'm always going to tell you, don't just go out and buy something just to buy it. Don't try to keep up with creators because creators will have you spending all your money. So they'll, they'll, and I guess I should say we because I'm a mild creator. I'm, I'm doing all right. Uh, but um, if you try to keep up with us, because Google sent this phone over. Shout out to Google for sending over the Pixel 6a. I appreciate being a part of Team Pixel. Very exclusive club that you have to get accepted into. No, seriously. But some of the phones that I get in, I do disclose, hey, they sent this over to me. And I think if you put two and two together, folks, when a phone is being released and you see a bunch of creators with it, obviously it's not out yet and they were sent that phone. Now, whether they got paid or not or whatever, that's their business. I'm personally not getting paid by Google. The only requirement is that I mention Team Pixel and hashtag that it's a gift from Google. And I have no problem doing that because my reviews are going to be neutral and they're always going to be as plain as I can see it and as, as objective as I can see it from my point of view. Uh, and hopefully you guys would agree or disagree. It's okay to be subjective on some things. I, I get it. Everyone gets an opinion. But I just think some of the things that people are trying to require uh, because it's 2022, some I do agree with, but most I do not. Like Again, wireless charging is not a requirement. Um, even fast charging, technically, I guess we need fast charging, but not like blazing fast charging, But we, because these batteries are getting bigger. Now, one thing I will say about this device is the performance when compared to the Pixel 6, it's the same, folks. Some people are saying, oh my God, it has six gigs of RAM instead of eight. Now, these must be people that are new to the technology world because don't you remember when phones didn't even have a gig of RAM and everybody was saying it was fantastic? It's so fast. Remember that .01 camera that was on the back? Everybody said it was great. Come on, back in those Nokias. You get, remember when phones didn't even have cameras? I mean, come on. Um, I think we should really lower our expectations just a tad bit. And I'm not saying for Google. I'm saying for all, all OEMs that you think you might like. I've said it before. I'm not going to say it again. Uh, OEMs are not going to give us what we want. Yeah, this is the Pixel 6a. It's a fantastic device. And uh, I think it's priced fairly from from what they're doing in their lineup to replace the current device that is also the same price. Um, that's just the thing. I, I, I think they're doing pretty good by keeping it the same, not increasing the price, and giving us a better device. Bars. So... It, this is going to come down to just conversation because a lot of the people talk and probably have no intentions on buying this device if they have the Pixel 6. But if you have the Pixel 6, folks, there's no reason for you to buy this device. And it's not because the Pixel 6 is better or offers more. It's just because you don't need it. Frivolously spending money on something just to keep up with a tech creator to say you have it or you tried it is a waste of time and it is a waste of the OEM's products because you're going to return it more than likely. So <clears throat> the Pixel 6 conversation, I think that should go away because I personally think that this is nothing but a baby version of the Pixel 6 if you just look at tech specs. The main tech spec that you should be concerned about is that this has the Tensor chip which is the same thing that is in the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. So I think you know, Google is doing the same thing as other OEMs by putting that powerhouse performing chip in there and charging less money, which is, I think some people might be a little upset about that. Who, Because I, I remember saying when I first heard, heard that this was going to have the Tensor chip, I said, oh, man, it's going to be some people that are pretty upset about that uh, because, you know, you spent that higher price. You spent that higher price on yours and, you know, you now have a more affordable option that performs the same folks this is a buttery smooth device with no problems whatsoever never i, have, I haven't had anything go on with this device yet that's going to cause it to crash and burn or just 
anything. These the, the pictures that come from this thing are incredible though. So I posted a couple of them online uh, and they are in, incredible. The, the quality that comes out of here, just me pointing and shooting. This is just me standing close to something uh, and taking a photo, which is where Google uh, definitely is matched with the Pixel 6. The, the, these cameras, when you look on paper, you're gonna say, um, yeah, this is, it's, it's a lesser, it's a downgrade. But in real world, these photos that are coming from this device are absolutely phenomenal. There is nothing going wrong with this device to where it's gonna, it's got subpar cameras or just worse cameras than anything else. Um, so far, uh, I've tested video out, but I'm gonna do a more extensive video test on the cameras. Like I'm gonna use the phone. Like remember, remember back in the day, I would just use the device, edit on it, shoot on it, do everything on it, and then process it to YouTube. I'm gonna do that again more than likely um, with this device. If not, I'll just pop it on the Mac and, and, and drop everything in there. But nonetheless, I want to make sure I'm bringing you as much content, content and trying to answer as much as your questions as possible. If you have a question about the battery life, right now, two days in, this battery life is great. I've only charged it twice, once per day. And it was at the end of the day, and I didn't technically have to charge it. I ended the day with, 28% on the first day and on the second day today I'm not done yet as you can see I'm not done yet so uh, the first time well technically I think I'm going on 72 hours because I've charged it twice so one two when did I get this so I charged it on Friday and I charged it on Saturday okay yeah yeah today's Sunday yeah so I charged it twice so I charged it once and the second day I think I didn't have to charge it and it lasted, I had like 40% left or something like that. Because your battery life is gonna determine on how you're using your device. So I don't foresee this phone having poor battery at all. I think it's gonna have great battery. It might not match the Pixel 5a's battery, uh, but it's going to have some pretty decent uh, battery on here. I think it's gonna do very well for what it is. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. 4410, basically 4400. Uh, million power battery. I think it's I think it's more than enough for the people that are going to buy this phone. And I love the beautiful display on here. It's just a nice look. It's got a flat display too, and I think that's big to some people. I think it's nice too. But the problem with flat displays sometimes when these OEMs make screen protectors, glass screen protectors, any screen protectors, they don't do well with at least on my Pixel Six. It was trash. It was horrible. Every screen protector I tried just wasn't really that good, and only a few of them worked, and then matte screen protectors were just a huge bust altogether. They didn't work at all. So, <clears throat> 48 hours later, you know, battery is good. Obviously, performance is good. No problems with performance. Uh, cameras are good. Uh, I don't know what else you would... Uh, signal strength is good. Uh, yeah, it's good. Um, they Obviously, they pair up easy with my Pixel Buds. Um, Having the having, I have several different versions of the Pixel Buds, so uh, it's just a matter of you know which one I want to use. And I'm using the Pixel Bud A's with this one because you actually get these free. So if you add both of these to your cart when you check out with the pre order, now I'm recording this while the phone is not available for sale, so be mindful of that while you're watching this video and the date that you're watching this video. I'm recording this on July 24th. The phone just hit pre-order and a lot of us got the device early from Google. So again, we appreciate Google sending them out. But um, yeah, depending on you know when you buy, if you pre-order, I just should say, you get these at no cost. So ultimately, let's break that price down. So 450 just to have the device if there's no free buds, right? I think that's a great deal. And then most people are doing a trade-in for the Pixel uh, Pixel 4a I have a Pixel 4a obviously I'm not gonna give it up I think it's a really great device and it's even it's a little bit smaller than this one with a 5.8 inch display which is actually still just it's a fantastic phone it doesn't have a ultra wide camera and it doesn't have 5g but that's okay because I'm getting stellar battery on there and I'm still taking good video and great fantastic photos I mean it's pretty much got the same camera system minus the ultra wide camera so Breaking down this price here, 450, right? Just the phone. If you put these in the cart too, you're going to get basically $100 off the total price, which takes it to 450. And then if you decide to do a trade-in, you are going to get this device. If you give up a, th a 4A and several other devices, they're giving like uh, 369 or 269, 292. I've seen these crazy prices. Basically, you can get this phone for this everything right here for $149, folks. 
You cannot beat this. This is incredible. That's incredible value to a consumer. So if you have any other questions, this is just a 48 hour discussion with you guys, man. I wanted to put out a video every day if I can for you on this device. Uh, but next video you're going to see is probably versus the uh, phone that everybody's clowning. I won't say what it is. Just stay tuned for it. But any questions you have, pop them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you on them. I'll try to answer your question right away if I can. Uh, but if I cannot, just um, wait for me because I get a lot of comments. It's your man Jay. Quick discussion. 40 hours, 48 hours later. Hope you enjoy it. And remember to leave that comment. I love to reply.